Hello, today we're going to look at power in electrical circuits. Now you may remember, you may remember from a previous video that the idea of power was energy transferred per second. And in electrical circuits, it's the same. It's energy transferred for every second. And because it's energy, it's going to be measured in joules. Just move that out of the way. It's going to be measured in joules. And if it's joules per second, that's the unit for power, but actually we call it watts. So watts is the same as joules per second, and although this and although they're the same thing, we use the unit watts. Okay, so here we have an electrical circuit, and as you know, charge flows through the circuit. Flowing charge is the same as the electrical current. So charge flows through the circuit, and that will transfer energy to the lamp. So we've got a lamp there, and that's got energy being transferred through uh, to it by the charge that's flowing through, by the current. Okay, and that lamp will then happily glow away. Okay, now we need to be able to work out the power, and that's done by using an equation. So the power depends on potential difference and current. So we put that to equation like that, and then we can abbreviate it like so. So P is power, V is potential difference, and I is current. And the unit for each, as we've mentioned already, for power is watts. For potential difference, it's volts. And for current, it's amps. And you should know the abbreviation for those. That's W for watts, V for volts, and A for amps. Now, that's one equation that we need to know, but there is another one. And that goes like this. If we remember that V equals IR and change the V to an I and an R, we get this equation here. Power is I squared R. Okay, so we know the units for those we've already mentioned. The only other one there is resistance. We should know this, but we could just add it in here. So resistance is in ohms, that funny little symbol there, Greek letter omega, and it's pronounced ohms. Okay, so we can use either one of these for working out power. We have to remember those two equations, unfortunately. They will not be given to us in the exam. So these are two that we have to remember. So imagine we had a current of 0 0.5 amps and a potential difference of 9 volts. We could simply work out the power transferred to the lamp by 9 times 0 0.5 and the answer to that would be 4.5 and as we said the unit is in watts. Now we can't use the second equation directly because we don't have a value for resistance but if we were being clever about it, if we were to be clever then we would remember another equation that we do need to know and that is R equals V over I. So resistance is potential difference over current and we know the potential difference is 9 and we know the current is 0 0.5, so that gives us a resistance value of 18 ohms. So we can now go ahead and plug that into the formula. So it would be 0 0.5 squared times 18. And if I've got this right, just move it out of the way up there. If I've got this right, that should give us the exact same answer. So maybe you can check that on your calculator. Okay, so we've got 4.5 watts worked out in two different ways. Okay, so that's one example of how we might use the equation. Let's apply it to another one over here. This question says, calculate the power supplied to both lamps. Okay, and we have to assume that those lamps are identical for this example. So it's P equals V over I, but we do need to do a little something with our voltage, our potential difference. Uh, we're looking at the power to both lamps, so we have to add 6 and 6. That's the voltage on both lamps. How do we know the other one is 6 volts as well? Well, in a series circuit, remember, the potential difference is shared between the components. So if that one's got six, 6 volts and the other one is identical, then that one also will have a potential difference of 6 volts across it as well. So now it becomes a lot easier. We've got P is 12 times 0 0.4, and the answer for that is 4.8, and again, that's in watts. Okay, so that's a second example. Let's have a look at this one here. We've got the power supplied to lamp X. We want to calculate that. So that's lamp X over there. We've got the resistance and we've got the current. So we would use P equals I squared R. Put in the values for that. And it's 0 0.4 squared times 40. And if you put that into our calculator, we get an answer of 6.4 watts. Okay, now the second question says that both lamps are identical. Calculate the power transfer to both lamps. So again, we use P equals I squared R. But this time we need to remember that the resistance for the second lamp is also 40 if they are both identical. And it tells you that in the question. 
And we need to remember again from our parallel circuits, the total resistance in the circuit is R1 plus R2. So we simply add those two together to get the total resistance. And that gives us a value of 80. So we've got P is I squared R, 0 0.4 times 80, 0 0.4 squared times 80. And if we do the calculation, we get an answer of 12.8 watts. So that's the power transfer to both lamps in this circuit. Okay, now it's probably worth mentioning that if the resistance of the two lamps were different or the two components had different resistances, we would have to calculate as follows. So imagine X is 40 ohms and the other one is 20 ohms. Let's do in black. For X, again, it's P is I squared R. So I is 0 0.4, so it's 0 0.4 squared times 40. And for the other one, let's call that one Y. So for Y, P is I squared R again, and this time we have 0 0.4 squared times 20. And if we bang those into our calculator, we get 6.4 for the first one and 3.2 for the second one. Less power in the second lamp, so it would be not as bright as the first one. It wouldn't be as bright as X. So those are two important equations we need to know and remember, and we went through a couple of examples of how you might use them in different situations.